bringing our dancers in right as we speak right now at our 20th annual Susquehanna Tribal Powwow. Educators and color guard. Singing our grand entry song this afternoon. Please remain standing. Gray Eagle. You step to the mic. Ask you to speak to creation on our behalf. Gray Eagle.
Thank you there, little man. Big what? Hello, good, good afternoon. My name is Juan, and I am part of the Calpulli Nanawatsin from Santa Rosa. And um, we have been doing this for almost two years. It's going to be our second ceremony, September 7. And uh, we do this to keep the traditions alive, traditions that we were passed out to us from our uh, grandfathers long time ago. And we just try to uh, keep the tradition for our kids and the ones to come behind, behind them. So one day we can be proud of uh, who we are, where we are coming from, and our roots. And um, so thank you very much.
Um, it's just a way of us um, interview, interweaving our, our own traditions, but also our energy. Um, the different dances we do, the dance sets we do are a form of corporal prayer. So whatever dance we are doing, it has a significance to whatever element we're praying for, whether it be the fire or sun. Um, for winds, um, for the rain, and for Mother Earth. So every single dance that we do, it's, um, it symbolizes one of the elements, and we're praying for something, for healing mostly, um, healing of Mother Earth. Our, our moves that we do, they all have significance. Um, whether we do, we're doing crosses for the four directions. Um, sometimes we're um, you know, praying to Donatio, which is the sun, and sometimes it's healing for Mother Earth. So everything we do, every motion we do, it's a significance um, of some sort of honoring and praying for our elements, our Mother Earth. And being able to bring it here to a powwow is just another way for us to pray for the Earth, for the ancestors that were here, because this is not our land, this is not our area, you know, we're from, from um, northern and southern, um, what is now Mexico, but, um, you know, there were no borders before, so, um, that's where our people are from, but we're here honoring the ancestors from this area, and...
need water? Shire Reservation and Big Valley Res Reservation. We're here at uh, Susco Intertribal Powwow that's been in operating over 20 plus years now, going on its 20th. And we've been friends of uh, Susco Intertribal for about that amount of time. And why we come here is due to the fact that, you know, we believe in unity of tribes. And we want to see it grow and grow to where a lot more people are happier and uh, understand each other better and get along better. And so when our children's children come to powwows, it'll be even better. That's one of the goals. So we try to foster and share in our culture because our culture is all about unity, whether it's family, prayers, food, or just each other. We, we believe in the unity of that. And so we come out now to share it. Like what you're seeing? We like, oh, is what we like. Oh! That's what we like. And it lets these ones know that you're seeing them and feeling them. And, uh, you know, they'll go even harder for you, you know, because it's for everybody that they do this, as well as their people and their family. We're here for all of that. And uh, let's enjoy each other's dancing, huh? Oh! oh! We're gonna do a. We're gonna do what we call two warm-ups. That's to get everybody ready and loose and uh, start feeling the beat. We have the uh, the clacker sticks. That's uh, one of their one of our traditions here. You know, we use this. We also have drums, but they're usually in-house only. But some do, some use it. But we only go with clacker for today. So we'll do two warm-ups. Get everybody used to and feeling our songs and uh, some of our rhythm. Oh.
at a powwow. Northern Drive. 